records show that a company that Jeffs is a managing member of recently purchased this 40 acre plot near the Superior National Forest in west of Grand Bray. We stopped here today and it doesn't appear there's much action as there's just a private property, no trespassing sign, and a bobcat located well down the winding driveway. Alan Mortensen, the lawyer representing the victim in the case, says he believes Jeffs has relocated to Minnesota in an attempt to escape his past in Utah, where he was considered the, quote, priesthood leader. Seth's brother Warren is currently serving a life sentence after he was convicted of sexual assault of two young girls, ages 12 and 15, who he took as wives. Mortensen says he's been tracking Seth since the lawsuit was filed in 2017. As far as the property goes, a Cook County spokesperson told us today plans have been filed to put a nearly 6,000 square foot building on the land with a nearly 1,000 foot driveway. The plans have neighbors concerned. You know, I've never met the guy, but if you, what, what these things are about him are true, it's disturbing. It's just a, something in the back of your mind that's kind of going to haunt you if you got people moving up here that are, have a a history of bad things. The man we spoke with today did not want to be named and he isn't alone in his concern. The general consensus of those we spoke with off camera today is that some type of religious compound would be built on the property. Now that Jeffs has been located, lawyers say they hope that pending lawsuit and the judgment against him prevents any development of this land near the Superior National Forest.